Good Sunday morning, guys. How are we all doing today? This is Gloria, and this is my thank you card to Eva. Now, today's cartridges I'm going to use, again, Kate's ABC and Elegant Edges. And the paper stack that I'm using today is called the Vintage Floral Stack. And this paper stack is really, really adorable. You have the 24 sheets that they have. And then they were selling half of the 24 sheets, which is pretty much all the same, but just missing a couple of sheets out of it. Well, exactly 24 sheets. Now, um, my paper pattern today is going to be this floral type paper, if you guys can see. Okay, so let's get started. My card is going to be an A2 size card. And it's going to be this blue, sky blue cardstock. Okay, so this is cut at five and a half, and this is by eight and a half, and then you will score it at five, four and a quarter to get an A2 size card. Okay, so let me score this. And where did I put my scoring tube at? Okay, guys, I found it. So I'm going to score this at four and a quarter. Just like that. And then I'm going to score it with my bone folder to kind of have a really good crease on it. Okay, so let's decorate the inside. So my inside card is going to be this floral cardstock that's going to layer right there. And then this pinkish cardstock that's going to go over top of it. Then I end up using my Geo Lace Trim Punch from Martha Stewart. And it's a deep edge punch. And I punched out a trim of the same cardstock, the same color uh, paper that I used to do my, my image. Okay, so let's glue this all together. Guys, I hope your morning started off good. It's 11 o'clock right now, and I'm trying to do this video so I can go over my aunt's house. Uh, we're going to have a little cooking thing. Um, she gets out of church at 12, so we all gonna, I'm going to meet my cousin there, and we're all going to go over and cook, uh, I think it's brunch. Okay, and that looks good right there. Now I'm going to adhere this trim. I can either use this side, which if you think about it, that side would probably go, but I like this white trim that I got going on. So I'm going to put some glue on it, and then we're going to adhere it down. Excuse me, guys. I'm moving my mat because I want to uh, kind of use my uh, craft mat. And it's underneath my uh, mat. And I'm just doing this really quick. Okay, so I glued this all out. And now I'm just going to adhere it down just about there. And that looks good right there. Now I'm going to just adhere this down to my card base. Well, I ended up putting my challenge video up yesterday night. And I already have a total of six people that are willing to do the challenge. And I am so happy. I wasn't sure at all if any of you guys would want to do the challenge. And I am like so ecstatic that I got some people that are willing to do the thank you card challenge and I appreciate each and every one of you that are actually doing the challenge with us 
So I figure if I'm going to do the challenge, might as well me do a card also. So I'm going to adhere my card right there. Okay, so that's the inside. Now, what I got going on, let me fix my mat. What I got going on now is I am going to use the My Creative Time Mini Greetings. And the stamp that I'm going to use is called a standing ovation just for you. Because I appreciate that she had, you know, did that awesome, awesome uh, donation. And, um... I'm like I said in my last video, I'm still overwhelmed, guys. I mean, I appreciate it so much. You know, I'm one of these people that you pay it forward, you get it back in tenfold all the time. That just not stands for just one thing that you do in your life. That's everything in your whole life that you do. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stamp this so I gotta line it up to make sure it's straight. Okay. And I'm just going to, and then I'll write a little personal thing. I already sent her a personal message, so I'm pretty sure she got it by now. And with my luck, it didn't take. So I'm going to see if I can redo it. Let's hope and pray. Or now I'm going to have to fix this when I'm done. Okay, well, I'll fix that when I'm done, of course, because that's just, let me kind of take it off now, so then I can always, I can do it when I'm done. So you get the picture, guys, what I'm doing. So all I have to do now is just cut another pink of cardstock and a trim. And it just didn't come out as clear as I want it to. And, you know, when sometimes when I double stamp it, it takes and sometimes it don't. And today is one of the times that it don't. But that's, a f that's perfectly fine, guys, you know. I like to show my mistakes on camera, too, you know. Because, like I said, I am not a professional. I love to create cards and do cards. And I do, do make mistakes. And you know what's so crazy? I know exactly what it is. That's a brand new, brand new stamp, which I should have did, like I said earlier, stamp it on the first paper first and then stamp it. But that's all right, okay? So as you've seen how I layered the inside, now I'm going to do the outside, okay? So my outside is going to be this pink, the same color pink, and this design paper that I'm using. And like I said, in my challenge, I need one pad and paper. A die cut and I could have put a stamp in but I didn't want it to do so I didn't want it to do so difficult because uh, you know there's a lot of people that don't do videos and don't do video response that's why I'm saying if you guys enter the challenge definitely send me the card and you will be put down for three points so you'll be able to at least get a chance to win something you know because there are a lot of my viewers that do not do not make videos. And I understand that because when I was doing YouTube years ago, I didn't do no videos. I was I was afraid to do videos. So I definitely understand what you ladies are going through, you know? So I wanted to share the love with everyone. Okay. And let me adhere this to the front of my card.
I already got one person that did a video response, already created the card, and her name is Green from Flamingo. Flamingo. And oh my gosh, she did such an awesome job. And you know, I was like so surprised. So I'm like so happy about that. Definitely happy about that. Okay, so there goes the front of my card. Okay, now in the Mike uh, Kate's ABC, I end up cutting out this vase right here or vase and f with flowers, and I cut this out at four inches. So here goes my vase with my flowers, and I end up using the glossy accents to kind of bling out the flowers as you can see and then on the pattern paper it's like a glossy type of uh, design and the way I cut it it cut it just like if it was going there so I thought this came out really really cute but for this I want to pop this up so let me get some pop dots And guys, I forgot to tell you on the video, I wrote it in the description bar, but sometimes people don't read the description bar. So, you have it to the 25th of March to enter the challenge. And, you know, I'm going to give you guys a couple of days after that to make sure you got your, if you're sending your card out, definitely send it out. Depending on where you live, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get to me. So... I'm going to definitely try to hold up and make sure that I get everybody's card that's entered the challenge. And I definitely want to try to have everybody, if you can, you know, make a card and send it to me. If you don't do video responses, fine. Just PM me for my address and I will definitely give you my address and you can send me it and you will be entered in for the challenge. And you would for you sending the card, only the card... Or if you comment and create, if you comment, make the card and send it, that's a total of four entries. Okay, so I'm going to adhere this vase right over here. And that looks good, but I'm not going to press down on it just in case. Now on elegant edges... Yeah, I just got to make sure what size I did this in. Okay. On elegant edges on page 70, I end up cutting out this ablong shape, and this is called Design 2, and is on page 70. So I cut out the ablong, and then I cut out the shadow at 3 and a half. So 3.50. Okay, if you don't have a gypsy, just three and a half. Or you can make it smaller or bigger, whichever one you guys would choose to fit on your card. I chose three and a half. And this is what I came up with. Now I end up using some glitter paper from Coronations from Joann's to cut out her name, Eva. And what I did was use the Inky Dinky Do stamp, and I use just wanted to say, and then I have a, a stamp set that is like for USA fireworks, you know, made in America, and I use the thank you stamp down here. So here it goes saying, it says just want to say thank you, Eva, and I'm gonna adhere this label right here on the side, just like that. And I'm going to try to put it right in the middle. Okay. So let me adhere this down. So 
let me get my uh, tweezers so I can make sure it's like right in the middle before I press on it. And that looks really good right there. Okay. And then I end up using some bling. And I kind of blinged out the sides. And my name kind of looks crooked. And I kind of, you know, let me see if I could bring this up. For some reason, I think it's the label that's crooked. Oh, one of my blings fell off, but I'll fix that in a second. Okay, that looks really good right there. Okay, guys, so now that I got that down, I'm going to press on my flowers. You know, I forgot to take the paper off of this one. And I got the paper on that one. Okay. And since I got a little bit of time, I definitely want to do this real quick. Just give me a second, guys. But like I was saying, just definitely mail me your, you know, PM me if you need my address and stuff like that. So I can definitely put you in the giveaway. I want to make sure that everybody is in on it. And, you know, I appreciate that she even gave me something for you guys to do a challenge. Which that's amazing, you know. Not too many people would do that. And God is going to bless her tenfold like you would not believe. Okay, so is this the same size? Okay, I just got to cut it on the edge a little bit. Okay, that looks good. So I appreciate you guys even uh, entering the challenge. And, you know, also let other people know about it, you know, because it's pay it forward, guys. Definitely pay it forward, no matter how you look at it. And um, she don't have a YouTube page. She is a lady off of this the Cricut Circle Forum. And she is amazing. She always had beautiful and nice things to tell me. And you can't get no better than that. You definitely can't get no better than that, guys, you know. Especially when you have people that are so loving. Okay, so let me just kind of pass some glue on this really quick. Okay, I think I'm going to try one more time, and let's hope and pray, and before I stamp it on there, I got another piece of paper, I'm going to try to stamp it on there, see how it comes out, and that came out really good, so since it came out really good, I'm going to stamp on it. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to make sure that my card is straight. You always got to make sure your card is straight when you're using the stamp press. Well, I end up doing it. And it did it again. For some reason, I probably know exactly what I'm doing wrong. Okay, guys. Well, anyway, you already know what I'm trying to do. So thank you for stopping by. Here goes my card. And thank you for joining in on the challenge. You see, this one's stamped just perfect. So before this glues on, let me take it off real quick. I think before I glue it down, I'm going to end up um, stamping it. Just to make sure. Be on the safe side. Always on the safe side, guys. Okay, guys. Well, there goes my card. Thank you for joining me today. Here goes my Thank You Eva card. Okay? See you guys tomorrow. Have a great day now. Bye now.